Okay, I'm sure I look absolutely beautiful right here, um, but I just want to show you my AmbiLoop setup. It's uh, for live looping, and AmbiLoop, uh, I'm using version 1.7. It's a free program out there. Um, there's a four, well, there's a, I think it's a Google group or something that you can join. Um, great software. Check it out if you're into live looping. Um, so let me show you how I've got it set up for portable setup. Okay, first I have AmbiLoop set up on my old Dell and uh, what I've done is I've changed the skin of it. It's the exact same skin as it uh, comes with except I've kind of inverted a lot of the colors that way it doesn't hurt my eyes to look at as far as being bright in a darker room and uh, I can also see which track I'm selected on. You can see as I scroll through the tracks, it's much easier to see. I added kind of a yellow glow to the top of the column, so it's easier for me to see which track I'm actually on. So go get that AmbiLoop, A-M-B-I-L-O-O-P, 1.7. Then I've got a Personas Firebox. All since I've got my mic hooked up on this side. All of my vocals and everything are coming out of the left channel. On here, I've got a click track panned to the right. You can see right there, I've got it panned to the right for the click track. And a lot of times I just use the click track for the <clears throat> very beginning, and then I take, them off, I take my headphones off. And that way, I just put the output on the back of my firebox to the left input, and then nobody hears the click track. They only hear uh, the vocals and things like that. Oh, and I've got a microphone, SM58. Good mic for doing live stuff. Then for my controller, because my Firebox also has MIDI input for MIDI controlling, I've got <clears throat> an FCB 1010 controller. And right now I'm just using one bank. I uh, have just the basic control set up. I've been thinking about setting up another bank. So I would just hit these up and down foot switches. So right now I've got this for my record, uh, erase what's on the track, turn on and off the effects, stop the thing. Uh, at the beginning, I tap that. So the tap button, I tap out the tempo, and then I click set and it sets my tempo for the song. Uh, these make me go left and right through the tracks. And uh, these, uh, add more bars to the track. Uh, then I've got my volume pedal, so for whatever track I'm selected on, that adjusts the volume. And then the effects pedal, uh, if I have effects turned on, that adjusts the amount of effects. I'm not really a big fan of the effects in AmbiLoop. They're okay, but um, when you just barely turn them on, it adds way too much effect. To it, so I usually try to steer away from using effects because it it's just not as good as I would hope to have like the effects. But maybe I just need to work on it more. But anyway, that is the setup. And Amb loop on a computer going out FireWire. FireWire audio interfaces have much better latency in my opinion. I've used USB ones on this computer and they all sucked horribly. This one, I've had no problems with. So then, yep, foot controller, um, mic, and output through the left output with the mic in the left mic input, and uh, should be good to go, and then just hook that into a PA system, and you've got a live looping station.